Hey there everyone, this is Cal playing ASMT, and today we're gonna end World 7, and if things go well, we might actually start World 8. I mean, that's been kind of what we've been doing. Use your illusion. A very specific reference. Here we go, so it's one of those gimmick levels. There we go, we're in a space tower. We are going to be beyond the limits of time and space. Here we go, make some bread. <laughs> right, so how this- oh jeez, this is a bit more worrisome than I remembered. So now we are up here. Alright, so we're gonna zig back, I think, because we got- we got, I, uh, Dang it, I'm gonna slip off this little tiny block I was given. But I'm gonna get my fireball back. Here we go, camera. Hey, check it out. It's a thwomp. Never seen that guy before. Look at that telephone. Yeah, that's right. It's giving us instructions about how to break space and time. On the casual, hey, watch out there, it's a fire flower. Now I am somewhere quite in danger in the middle of the world. I don't know what it wants here, but hey, look at that, everything is on fire. It's nothing new. Do I want that? No, I don't think so. I need a peace switch or something. Uh, but this is like the worst platforming in the world. All right, but we made it through. Uh, can I move forward safely? Well, I just did not feel confident at all there. All right, this is a little bit more doable -er, thusly this way and jam. Statue is still the same. I'm playing weird, making nonsense decisions. Do we want to go there, or do we want to take another path? I'm not sure. That looks kind of scary to me. I can still go down. And maybe go somewhere else. Look at that. Because of the elevator, the escalator, I'm just kind of moving forward on my own. Yeah, I don't know if that's something I want. But it's happening. Like, I'm not pressing anything right now. Escalator magic. Alright, here we go, here we go. It's like lunar magic, but slight! Here we go! Except we're gonna build ourselves an apartment tower. And forget to install doors. Did I miss a midpoint? Honestly, I have no idea. Alright, I remember this part being a silly part, where you gotta go like, whoosh, and then you go like, re-whoosh. You gotta re-whoosh. Don't get caught. It's probably Kume related, alright? Alright, yeah, rewish, there we go. Big old golden alien sausage will tell you time if you ask it. But be prepared to pay the price. I don't know where I'm going. Like, that's kind of a issue. Big old plunger diamond rice. Favorite flavor. Alright, I'm going to flip the world and ask for dice. What a strange request by a strange person. Oh my god, it's Charlie! Oh my gosh, it's the Star Bazaar! Oh my gosh, things didn't spawn, I think. Something similar, yeah, we need to get that springboard down to the Mayo level post. So here we go, we do a little bit of that, no? What if we wait a little bit here? Yeah, okay, so you need to not go too fast. These objects were never meant to do these kinds of things. <laughs> We are asking things be, uh, beyond their ken. Um, like, can I just squeeze in by the side here? Oh, I can. All right. Everything has been decided for me in the past, future, and present tense. Here we go inside this door. Wow, this went well. I feel like it helps a lot to know what's going on because we're already at a boss. Uh, and this boss is amazing, like, it's just a big boo, but, whoops, uh, Windows Summary does not find any substance in my computer, so that's good. So, this boss, not the easiest, because your enemy is the timer. Alright, here we go, right in your face, so one hit done. Alright, no, yeah, ooh, okay, we're going down another path, yeah, all you have to control the fate of the shell 
is, you know, the, the, the screen. I don't know how that popped there. That should not have happened, I don't think. Uh, yeah, okay, but I mean, do I have enough time, though? Like, for, for one thing... Uh, like, the timer, the timer is very strict. Uh, so, it's very possible. Like, oh, shoot, shoot, oh, yeah. And like, like, the control I have is very interact. Like, you can tell that. I don't need to tell you. I think, like, I mechanically, mathematically do not have enough time. Because if you take into cons- yeah, no, yeah. But, I mean, this is a hard one. Wait, yeah, I killed him three hits, but... <laughs> yeah. Chuck is... Uh, man, uh, nope, I'm dead. I'm, I cannot do it anymore. This is super hard. But, it, like, it's super cool, but it's super hard. Do not deny the truth. Yeah, that, that's what I want to recreate. It's just... Okay, might not be that hard, I now realize. Well, now it's just kind of stuck there and it's gonna fall yeah, again, like... I just do not have the math here on my side. Oh well. Like the shell and everything. Oh, whoop! I managed to get the shell to despawn. Yeah! Wow! That's a quick kill! Like, just do it, man! Brain Pan Warrior on the attack, doing a kick flick McNasty on the stack. Okay, here we go. I don't know what's going on, but I did it! We're on the ground now. We're cooling off in the basement of the tower where the tower is. Just gonna pick it up. Get out of here, tower. We don't need you nor your cosmopolitan mistakes. Uh, we can only guess Demo's true motive. Uh, it's getting her teleporter. Is she fighting, fleeing, or allowing some powerful surge of vid to escape on a myopic rampage? No, she's getting her teleporter. Is she following her heart? If following her heart is her teleporter, yes. Please pay attention, the story is not that complicated. Logs! That's why we're going right in that volcano. And then there's a weird little pause in time, and here we go, we get a hard save. I don't know, I like walking back and forth in these things. I have no explanation. Yeah, each of these levels you see on this map is gonna be one video. The castle is gonna be more than one. Except by except for Munchy Plant Ruins. I, I, I think we're okay with doing that, and we're gonna get a bit of story here, look at that. Here's the volcano from the inside on the outside. The final fortress. Oh yeah, Khan. Your conversations were very important. <laughs> Will it though? <laughs> I don't know, like, I feel like there was... Some people put a lot of heart in what would have been the story of this game. Except it just does not materialize. No, it's not. You're just hungry, because you've been doing this for, like, many episodes. Whoa, telephone! Uh, that's so funny. Like it's a good it's a good joke about how muncher spam, like munchers were everywhere back in the day during a certain era. You could say that era never left, and I would say, oh sure, why not? Who cares? It's lava though. Like it's just this is just a really cool place. It's using vanilla graphic intelligently. Like this is the kind honestly, yeah, the more I think about it. This gives me high-ranking level design level vibes more than anything. Yeah, that's right. There's a clue. Fall to your doom. Look at these ghosts. Oh no, it's the mo- oh, I, Yeah, I, I was kinda- I was, Oh, well, okay. 
What's with this game and just popping enemies exactly where I'm gonna be? It's like you guys know exactly how I move. Whoa. This is just me with that demo start like really fast. Hey, you can just press start if you want. If you don't want to read it. I don't know if it works the first time you see it. Hey, here we are. Let's do that again. Uh, I feel like I let myself get walled in and then I let myself be ambushed and that's just how it went. It's fine, it looks like a mouth barfing lava everywhere. Now that's what I call a prickly situation. It's all the prickles all day long. Welcome to where might is strong. Yeah, it's a bunch of ruins. Here we go, bad floors. Tenuous hygiene. It's everything you need. All right. You, oh, and one of them is a reverso, huh? So you can't just kind of sit there. I mean, you can just kind of sit there. Here we go. Here's the priest. Yo, Muncherhead. He would be right at home in some kind of horror story, I feel like. He would be very... Oh, so you guys are plot ghosts. Got it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I did it. Falling down. Here's a brick I can pick and throw at that guy. The slowing muncher still, the spoons are still available at 299 for a set of 12 at the local market. Here we go, a tourism attraction, war zone, here's a friend. In the ruins, the little guys walk back and forth while the block comes alive and says hi. Then you double sprite onto Eerie's just kinda doing their own thing. No, there's not a thing where you go in a pipe and then you go into the realm where all the munchers are real, cause that'd be impossible. And yeah, like, that time I touched that guy, that's gonna fall. You can kinda tell, cause they don't actually touch the column they're next to. <laughs> They're just kind of situated one next to another. Alright, here's that guy, and here's this guy, and here's the third one. I can't believe I'm able to identify if a guy is there. Why did I hesitate? Had I not hesitated, I, I would've just kept going and cleared it. But I hesitate. You could see I stopped in midair. That's not even something you can do in real life. That's the muncher room. If you ever do a bad thing and steal all the ham, that's where I put you. Alright, I still get a power up here. Is it gonna be enough? Well, considering that my, some of my hits were very sad, I'm gonna say, I hope. Well, here it was kind of nonsense, but it's here when I jumped up and I got hit by them again. It's these guys, man. They're just really good at their job. You know, just two munchers working together. One goes in a straight line. The other, you know, kind of swerves around a little bit. I'm gonna let them some room so I can take my time doing jumps. Whoa, watch out, Charlie alert. Who let the Charlie in the house? Was me. I closed the door when I went out to get five meters of chewing gum for academic reasons. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, so you can slide kill the head of a laser. I don't remember if I knew that. Oh shoot, but it's really cool. Alright, you guys are just kind of being, like, weird. You keep on being weird. Being weird is being cool. If you ask the right person, oh no, I broke my blocks and now I get a mushroom on my face. We get two power-ups, but there's a reason why! Here we go, it's boss time! You got Oku's theme, and oops, oh, so I've come to offer yourself a sacrifice! How nice of you! So you got- so, I remember this being kind of a pain, because you gotta- You gotta jump on the seed as it falls, but you gotta land on it before it falls, because otherwise it turns into a muncher, right? And you can, and sometimes they fly up. So, like, it's kind of a very tricky timing. It has HP, so that's fun. Yeah, so, like, I don't, uh, you need to... It's very hard to land on these, I find. Because I try to land on them at an angle so they don't have time to bloom. But then we saw the result. I actually just end up slamming myself on their sides and then get hurt. It's a, it's a rough balance. No! I didn't fall. So you just 
run there. All right. Ugh. Very interesting level. That I don't think it's very hard at all. Whoa. There's some shenanigans with these locks. Can you just fall in there? Dude, I guess we can do that all day long if you want to. But I mean, having fireballs doesn't matter. Uh, fireballs are of no help as I try to jump on seeds before they land on the ground. Yeah, so it seems to be like it's a... Ah, like this is very hard to do. I... I'm... No. And that, that hurt me somehow? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I'm getting impatient, that's why. Fantastic. You kinda need to jump ahead of time. Like, you need to be predictive, you can't be reactive. You need to be- it's a proactive jump, so you can land on it at some time. So yeah, it goes faster. But I don't think it makes it that much harder. Well, because the seas are still falling at the same speed. And that's that's the main source of hardship. So here we go. Oh, you can hit the seed and it will destroy each other. Well, ain't that swell, I guess, mother. Ah, I, it's this... It's a cool boss, but the reason it's hard is but. Like, there's just no other way around it. The world's mo- like, it's just- I, I, I'm afraid to jump on the seed because I'm afraid of being either late or hitting it on the side. Like, I- there's- uh, Nope, I- it's- ah, uh, It's be- Ah, uh, Yeah. I can, alright. So yeah, that seems to be the key to win here. Is to never miss a post-rise drop. Because that will give you a very easy to predict seed that you can time a jump on. And yeah, and look at that, see? Instant victory. The day I act upon this. Assume I can ever hit you again, there you go. Yeah, so that's the key. Like, if you can predict exactly when a seed will fall, then you can time when you're gonna jump. But if you're trying to play this reactively, it is just, it feels awful. Like, it just feels genuinely awful to time a jump on a thing that's flying like that. But it's doable! This level has many fans uh, looking forward to it! <laughs>